everyone, welcome back, and today I will be reviewing Simplicity 1589, their Learn to Sew pattern from their early autumn 2013 collection. So this is how the way it's going to go this week. I'm going to show you the review, the look of the day. I'm going to take you through the pattern instructions and show you a couple of photos from when I was making the top. So if you are a beginner or you're trying to recommend this pattern to a beginner, you'll see what um, the pattern is all about. So first of all, the only problem I have with this top was the type of fabric I used. This is a silky print from Joann's and so it has that slippery texture to it. So I spent a lot of time <laughs> hand basting this top. I used spray starch to stabilize or try to stiffen the narrow hems. It worked a little bit. I didn't have any water soluble stabilizer because that's not something I usually use. And that is why it took me a few hours. I was watching a concert with my honey and I was just sitting down there basing and sewing, basing and sewing. If you use a regular cotton or anything that's non-slippery, yours will go by so much faster than um, mine did. Now, where I did the narrow hems, which would be the hem and this high-low hem effect also, the neckline and the facings come with, you know, these strips of fabric that they use as facings for these type of tops. I also hand based those because as I said it was more the fabric than anything else. Um, I find that when you do a design, when you sew a design that is really simple, you really have to be more meticulous about your sewing application because every little glitch, every little fault tends to show up on something that's very very plain and very simple. right? And so this part here is the wrap. Now what my mom was saying, she said, I like the fact that this wrap is very, very deep. The under part, it goes almost the whole length of the back portion. Now, that being said, I will recommend that you wear a cami underneath this blouse because especially if you're like walking in the city or you're down by the beach, or maybe not the beach so much because you could get away with exposing a lot more skin at the beach side but I wore this in Manhattan and the wind just was like picking it up and blowing it all over the place so I was really happy that I wore a cami underneath you know to me just make me feel more <laughs> more secure that's the thing I don't like about wraps in general I don't like the the exposure but I absolutely recommend this top because it was so breezy and so light and I think it looked really, really good. So I would absolutely recommend it. Plus it's easy to make. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. It took me about three hours to make this top. And as I said, it's just because of the fabric choice. It was a very, very easy blouse to make. So I know it's a little late in the summer, but I absolutely recommend it. And now I will show you the look of the day. So what are these learn to sew patterns all about? Well, these patterns are designed to be a beginner's introduction to using patterns. So basically all you need to know how to do is how to thread a machine, how to wind a bobbin, and how to do a running stitch on your sewing machine, and you'll be able to start. So the first thing when you open the pattern, of course, it basically shows you the technical drawings and these are the pattern pieces and then here they have the things that you will need to make your garment this is something that patterns usually don't have the normal ones and then there is an introduction to um, 
basically what the pattern is all about right there. Now this part talks about how a yard of fabric works in regards to your sewing. So your selvage, your lengthwise grain, stuff like that. And then this section here is about the pattern itself. So if you haven't used a pattern, it tells you about all the markings, what they all mean. And then there is this part here, which is how to find your pattern size by using your measurements for this particular pattern. Then they go into how to prep your pattern, which is cutting it out, how to prep your fabric, pre-washing it. This is the key or the guide for how to lay the actual fabric out, which is right here, so that you can cut it. Then they tell you or they show you how to mark your notches on the actual fabric and then there's a little bit of information on how to finish the seams. Now after that they go into assembling and sewing the pattern. So as you can see here the illustrations are really huge and the instructions are very very detailed. You gotta think about it this is just a simple top and I think they have two pages of instructions on how to do it. So I think that this is a good place to start if you are a beginner and you haven't really made any type of fashion garments for yourself or if you want to recommend this to someone who has been nagging you <laughs> to teach them how to sew. So I am going to show you guys a couple of photos from when I was making mine and I will see you guys in a couple weeks.